Good morning and happy Tuesday. Thanks for being with us on your on our 9 at 9 journey and making this part of your uh, devotional. Uh, tell your friends, invite some others. We always like to have more and more company. So, But again, we are glad that we have this moment with you on the video. So, Jesus heals the demoniac. Uh, Legion is now healed. Part of that process, he puts the demons in uh, the, flock, uh, the herd of pigs, and the herd of pigs runs down into the water, and they all drown. Now, the townspeople come out, and here's what they see. They see the guy who used to be legion is now clothed and in his right mind. A, f a herd of pigs has run into the lake, and now they're all drowned and floating around out there. You've got upset shepherds. You've got people who are trying to figure out what's going on. And you've got Jesus sitting calmly in the middle of it. So everybody looks around and goes, hey, we don't know what happened. We knew that the guy who was crazy isn't crazy anymore. We know that we've lost a herd of pigs. Jesus, would you mind leaving? Now, your first thing is, why in the world would anybody want Jesus to leave? Well, the easy answer is, one, the Bible says they were afraid. The other thing is he messed up the status quo. You see, everybody had their place. Everybody knew the rules. That guy's crazy. You tie him up when you can. You do what you can with him. But if you don't know what to do with him, then take him over to the graveyard. He'll be fine. As long as he's crazy, you're not. As long as he's got problems, you don't have to deal with your problems, right? Our village would be great if it wasn't for that wacko over in the graveyard. See? Our village would be fine if it weren't for him. As long as we have somebody else we can blame, then we don't have to deal with our stuff. We lost a herd of pigs. Now, there was a financial cost to the shepherds, sure. But nobody seemed to think that this man was worth that herd of pigs. I'd rather have him crazy and my pigs back. I want things back like they were. Sometimes when we talk about I want Jesus into my life, we really don't, do we? Because we know if Jesus got into our life, he would mess things up. I have a friend who jokingly says, I never pray for God's will in my life. And when I ask him why not, he says, all of those missionaries in Africa, how do you think they got there? Lord, I'll do anything. Next thing you know, they're stepping off an airplane. You really don't want to get that serious, do you, where you would, as the disciples, leave everything and follow Jesus. You don't want Jesus to mess up your status quo. You'd rather have somebody else to blame, the crazy man of the village. You'd rather have your herd of pigs and the financial security they represent. You just don't want Jesus messing with your status quo. But see, that's the bad news. If Jesus shows up, he's going to wreck your status quo. So which do you want more? You want things the way they are? Do you want the status quo? Or do you want Jesus? You can't have both. Think about it for about 60 seconds, and I'll see you tomorrow.